of this mess. I really don't know if I'm... Well, I fit the top and the bottom holes together, and big surprise, they don't fit perfectly. There's some, uh, you know, it's off, but I did the best I could. So I'm going to have to make a lot of adjustments to there and to the front. Uh, I'm going to let that cure. I tested everything. Seems cool. Everything's working okay. Um, I'm working on the base right now. So the base, um, I used a a New Hope surface gray on top of a gray primer. So I primered it gray. I, um, you know, let it sit for a while, uh, let it cure, and then I put a New Hope surface gray on it. Um, looks pretty bright right now, and I had seated my post, which will work, to, um, hold the model, everything's aligned, I put a filler piece in here, um, just to make sure everything's secure, it's all epoxied in there, it's not going nowhere. So I feel pretty good about that. I also ran some extension wires from the post, um, you know, from the uh, connector to under the base to the back. So I have my red, my blue, and my black running to the switch, which I'm going to use for controlling the lighting. Uh, my next step is to... Uh, enhance the base with uh, a few other colors I saw some uh, pictures on the archive X site for what they used color wise for the actual uh, Death Star surface for the first movie and this, this is one that looks a little odd is this trench olive oxide and there are parts where, like, you can't see in the movie if you're watching the... It looks everything's gray, but um, there are a lot of sections that are this color. So I'm going to um, accent this whole base, and then I'll mist over it. But um, this stuff, um, I don't want to airbrush it on because I'd have to mask... All these little pieces here uh, so I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna have to brush paint it so what I'll do is I'll take this uh, paint and I will dilute it with um, mineral spirits and I will paint I'll use tape to mask off certain parts but I'm not gonna airbrush it so I'm just gonna go along and fill in some different parts and uh, use some other colors too to weather it but I'll show you what I'm doing I also have the frame done in satin black which will fit over this and lift this up um, the reason why I did that separately was I don't want to have to mask off the interior and then paint the exterior part uh, separately I just want to apply that just kind of drop this in so that seems to be working uh, okay so we'll see what happens I will um, I will start painting some of these panels here and there to uh, uh, I'll show you what I'm trying to get this look Well, I have a windshield temporarily mounted with some painter's tape, and I am just trying to mount this so I can fix up some parts on the side. There's two parts that go on to the side right here to cover that seam, but they're, you know flat so I need to um, make them a little more 
circular so they adhere to this part. So what I had to do was, since the parts didn't align right, um, everything was off. So there were there were um, issues here um, on the ends. I had to file those. So I have a good set of files. Probably a good idea if you're going to work on resin kits to get something like this, which is um, there's a whole different assortment of files that come with this um, that come with this kit, which is you know substantial. But I use every one of them. There's a rasp. There's depends on what you know what how much you want to take off but you really need one of these things so I use this file for cleaning out the um, irregularities here also there on the side I use the bigger one and I went you know over this several times because it didn't line up There's also a big gap in the back here. Now there's a piece that goes here, but I don't think anything goes here, so I'm going to figure that out. And here. Also in here, in these areas that are open, I had to, uh, you know, uh, file those down so they matched. Um, so I have my work cut out for me for this, but I think I have an idea to, to fix all of this without having to fill it in with putty and sand it. Um, I'd like to have some kind of uniform band that goes across here and here. And, um, of course, all I need to do here is drill holes for my wings, which I don't want to put on yet because I have some detail parts. And... Of course, this piece doesn't fit in here, so I'm going to have to sand that down. And the seam here will have to be fixed in here. So there's still uh, some work to do on this thing. But uh, it's coming along. Well, I'm still working on this hole. This is... Uh, what I've done so far, I've applied two pieces here, um, I filled in this gap, I put detail in here and here, um, filled in this gap over here, and lots of styrene here, and here, all along here, I put strip styrene in here, this stuff I cut. Uh, to fill in gaps to close the uh, seam and uh, here you can see some pieces here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually use uh, squadron putty this stuff um, I like this stuff it, it, it dries fast um, I'm going to open this up And you can see it's kind of actually I'm gonna mix this stuff up. So I'm kind of mixing it in the tube. I am going very, very light on this stuff. And I'll do a bunch of coats. Just to fill in these gaps. Without making too much of a mess. So I'm just kind of going over this again. With the squadron putty. Alright, 
so I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna sand it, and I am going to reapply as necessary. Stuff usually dries in about 20 minutes. All right, still working on this thing. I knew it was going to be a lot of um, fabricating parts. I didn't think it would go to this extent, but it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm still working on fixing this recess area, um, this this ridge here. Um, made a lot of parts for this that I had put on and primered over because I wanted to see how they look so it's gonna be kind of hard to spot them but as you can see here there's this recess here there was a lot of detail missing um, I added this pipe I added these pipes I added this small details um, there was a lot of stuff going on in here that was not present uh, and it just looked empty I did that for both sides so I had to make parts and, and then kind of you know see how they fit and if they didn't look right I'd redo them so there's this part I added the, the hose again on this side the pipes the little greaves in here this piece I had to totally fabricate um, the back part here um, I needed to add a lot of parts that weren't present there was this part and this is actually two pieces um, I still have to put these flaps on here which I'll show you which are work in progress um, these recesses this is not accurate but um, that's all I had to go on with what I was given. Uh, I did I redid this whole back. This whole back panel is redone. So this is what you get with the kit, but it's missing a lot of detail. Um, I don't know if they modeled it after parts that had fallen off of the um, filming model, but these these four pieces are present at some point. Over time, they probably broke off. Um, they did include some parts for this whole recessed area here. So I didn't have to build all this myself. This part, this part, and this part were included. Um, I have to fix, like I said, the fit. And I had to make a part for here. This back section here that was empty. Um, let's see if I can get a better shot of it right here I had to make a part that goes in there I had to make this part here that's a part I did on both sides this is part in the bottom I'm trying to think what else I have to fix these recesses here these aren't remotely correct um, they're all messed up, so I have to refile and make them look clean. Um, what else? Same thing on the bottom. I have to um, fix the recess edges, make those look clean. And I have to fill in this gap here. Uh, for the bottom panel for the back panel um, so I'm still going on this it's taken a while this thing's actually pretty heavy um, but it's getting there and um, I should have almost all the parts applied I have uh, one two three four five six there are pieces uh, on the back here that I have to add there's, there's these uh, kind of like curved panels that go on the back so that's two there's two pieces here two on the bottom so I have at least six pieces left um, I spent time cleaning up this edge on both sides 
and the front edges too like all that stuff had to be cleaned up so I'm almost ready to give this a final coat of paint I just have to work on cosmetic issues and uh, like I said like six other parts that I have to add so um once all that's done, I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll uh, I'll do the uh, the repaint. You can see most of the most of the blue <clears throat> bluish gray uh, is gone because I had added parts and then primered uh, to make sure they looked okay, and then you know repeated so the almost the whole thing is um, covered in gray primer again. <clears throat> so I have to um, do a repaint. Which is fine because I was planning on doing at least two two coats of of the base coat anyway, so um, that's fine. So that's where I'm at. Stay in attack formation.